Game Boy Luke. See, I have a secret weapon. Game Boy Luke. When Game Boy Luke fails, there's something else you should say. Gibble. When Game Boy Luke fails, say Gibble. <laughs> it works. There we go. Hello everybody, my name is Finnick Flyer, and welcome back to episode 7 of my Pokemon Emerald Hardcore Roulette Lock. Last episode, we made a way to do for town and we got a few encounters, and this episode, uh, let's hope we can get through this gym. So, without further ado, here's the episode. Ooh, you're holding a sharp beak. I want to continue. A uh, move, party, switch, goodbye, Harold, I'll see you later. Maybe, hopefully, eventually. Well, I guess maybe not, because that means we'd have lost a Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna go and heal, actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and get all my Pokemon up to level 14, and then take out the trainers of the gym, and after that, get them all up to level 19. So I will be right back. Hello there, everybody. It, it, it appears a mistake has been made, and there has been slight over exaggerated overestimation of Fistopus's special defense and underestimation of Lunatone's special attack. Um, because as you can see, I may or may not have just got one shot. But anyway, <laughs> oh no! Well, okay, so we don't have a water type anymore, but we still have a grass type. We don't have to use the roulette wheel slash number picker to pick a Pokemon from the PC because we only currently have one Pokemon in the PC. Um, that was the last Pokemon I wanted to get up. The Herald is already level 16. So I guess I'm just gonna go. That honestly makes me very sad. And... <laughs> oh no. Um, well... It's fine. Yeah, now that's third death this run. As I was going to say, after, I, f I thought it was fine. The other encounter on that route is a Marowak, so it's a water type against a rock type and a ground type. Like, come on. But as I was going to say, after I got Fistopus, that's my favorite nickname too. After I got Fistopus to level 14, now that I'm all grinded up and officially regretting that I got two fishing encounters instead of the cave encounter, especially because my speed up button apparently can't be mapped to my controller, let's start the gym. Oh man, that really sucks. That really sucks. I don't have a water type anymore. I guess I don't need a. I'm, Let's heal first. Let's not start the gym first. Let's heal first. 
Okay. It's fine. I mean, I can't choose the Pokemon on my team anyway. I liked Fishtopus. I've been wanting to use an Octillery for honestly a while. I just never have gotten the chance to. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Get an Octillery. I don't even know. How does Dremorade evolve? Does Dremorade evolve? I think it's by level up. I'll check it after the video. I don't want to have to make another cut for you guys. I don't know why I'm talking to you. But it'll be fine. Why did they make the fighting gym super dark? That's the that's the question. So I'm just gonna go through with you, with Espeon, and clear out the trainers. Because I can get up to level 19, and you have a psychic type move. I'm going in all of the wrong directions. I want trainers. Fight me! So, I'll go through... You don't have a psychic time move yet, I forgot. Shoot. Um, so I need to get you up to level 16, actually. Before you can do much. So, I'll... Go in... Because fighting moves will be neutral. You're gonna be level 16 soon. Fighting moves will be... I'll just use Espeon anyway. Oh, that's a double battle. I wish it was Espeon on you. Because fighting moves will be neutral against, um, Bean. I'm gonna switch you out to Bean. Chop a shadow tag. Okay! <laughs> um... Sand attack the Machop, and tackle the Machop. Sand attack the Machop, tackle the Machop. We want the Machop dead and not hitting us. Okay, so now we can used by so I'm just gonna tail whip and now I'm gonna switch out to bean we wanted them to chop dead so we could switch out Jackson because Jackson is weak to fighting type so you're still under bide so I'm gonna do that you unleashed energy and I'm gonna tackle you now and confusion will be neutral maybe I should have used Used by, but it's okay because we'll get you now. Okay, there we go. Crisis averted. Um, because so because Bean is also psychic type, psychic moves are going to be neutral against it. So let's go and see if I can't get Espeon up to level sixteen. So then I'll have confusion for the gem leader. Because that'll be good. I don't think I'll have any trouble with the gem leader as long as I have Espeon and Bean up to level... Is there another trainer down there? Up to level 16. Up to level 19 with the... um. Psychic type attacks. You're concerning me a little bit. I'm switching. Bro, one, two. Hello? Can you please not cause an issue for me? I guess it's good we had Harold. Um. Blessing in disguise. Yeah, there's no one else. Oh, there is- Ah! I was trying to leave. Pokemon. Herald. Oh, I forgot you have. Sand attack. Sand attack. Sand attack. 
Papple, Pillip, Sand Attack, Shoot! So the focus band didn't fall. When chops up shadow tag. Okay. Issues are happening. Maybe I should have just sand attacked six times from the start, but I was trying to take it out. Um I was trying to leave the gym to heal, but I was like, oh, let's see if there's a trainer over here. And then I ran into the trainer because I'm smart, super smart, awesome. I can do things very well. Can't use healing items inside a battle. Because... Can't use healing items in battle because of the hardcore Nuzlocke part. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... Yeah, not enough- you, you have enough- you're fine, you're fine. I'm not gonna go up. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go- I, just, I lost the Espeon in the fighting type gym! I was happy with my Espeon. I was very, very happy with my Espeon. I wanted- I liked my- Okay. So. New plan. I'm going to go ahead and... put Espeon in the PC. I just lost two Pokemon within like 10 minutes of recording time from each other. Why? Oh, I can't take your item from here. Ah, oh no, before you even got a name. Two of them before they even got a name. Just, just give it to you. Okay, new plan. I'm gonna go get the cave encounter and see what it is. And I'm gonna end the episode off and see where I'm at. In between episodes, I'll grind up to take on the gym leader. I wanted to take on Brawly this time, but um, <laughs> mistakes have been made, things have happened. So let's go see what our new encounter is. Yeah, I'm healed up. Okay. Teddy Ursa. Not gonna be crazy load of help in the fighting gym. But at least she'll be okay outside of the fighting gym. See, I knew not randomizing the opponent's Pokemon was gonna cause some issues. <laughs> I'm gonna... Can I just throw a Pokeball at you? Because I'm already level 14. Nope. Let's see. Are you sure? You sure I can't just throw a Pokeball at you? You sure I can't just throw a Pokeball at you? Yeah. Um, so... Let's go to my Pokemon. And let's go to... Bubby? And let's... How much is Constrict? Summary. Ten! It's only ten. It's only ten power. Constrict? Yeah, I can Constrict. Use Lick. Lick. It's used Leer once. Do you only have Lick and Leer? Ah! 
No, you have scratch. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment, calm my brain down, and I'm gonna come back in a mindset to not lose any more Pokemon. Two moments. <laughs> okay, hello. I'm back, and I have a game plan. I'm going to catch this Teddy Ursa. Maybe I should have just gotten the encounters instead of being scared of not having people on my team. Because now I'm over level to catch them, and I've lost people anyway. Okay, that's fine. We're both paralyzed. Just wanted to paralyze you. Let's see. This is gonna work. Game Boy Luke. No. Game Boy Luke. No. See, I have a secret weapon. When Game Boy Luke fails, there's something else you should say. If it's gonna shake twice for me. I don't think I can do any more damage to it. Gibble. When Game Boy Luke fails, say Gibble. <laughs> it works. There we go. It licks its palms that are sweetened by being soaked in honey. A teddy ursa makes its own honey by blending fruits and pollen collected by Beedrill. Little bear Pokemon. But now, it is not a little bear Pokemon. It is a Gibble. Does Gibble have one B or two Bs? I'm looking at that and it looks wrong. Maybe it's because it's all capitalized, but it just, it looks wrong. It has one B. Okay, it is a Gibble! Okay, avoid this trainer. I don't even know if you fight me. I don't, for some reason I don't think he fights me, but I don't want to risk it. Okay. Get out of the place. Run. Go away. Granted, I guess I probably should have known that. Well, I kind of did know, but I didn't want. I was doing it anyway. That a spinner rack is not the best thing to go against a teddy ursa. But um, okay. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Our team and our death box just match in size. It's fine. Bag. We have four Pokeballs, four from your balls, and a great ball. I'm gonna go get more Pokeballs, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's go get our final encounter. We're at 106. <laughs> There we go. Maybe I should have trained Teddy Ursa a little bit. Are you kidding me? It's going to teleport! Game Boy Luke. Oh my god. I cannot believe we got that. I cannot believe we caught that. Oh, jeez. It apparently does not feel the pull of gravity because it supports itself with psychic power. It'll give its life to protect its trainer. Okay, yes. I would like to name you. You're a male. I typically name my Glades Gale. And also, the first time I played Pokemon Emerald, well, no, not the first time, but like the first time, not the first time, 
one of like the most recent time I played Pokemon Emeralds, which I guess was like a number of years ago, I caught a male Ralts and named it Gale because I forgot that Gallade is a Gen 4 evolution. Oh dang. So I guess I'll just name you that. I'll just do it. I will remember my past. From the time before I was doing Nuzlocke's. And I will protect you. Okay, so <laughs> our new team <laughs> in this in this Nuzlocke. In this roulette lock. Oh wait, I need to check abilities. I'm very bad at that. I never check abilities. Anyway, I'll do it as I do it. Our new team, Bean the Lunatone, Harold the Vile Plume, Jackson the Tauros, Togepi the Togepi, Spike Ball, you have Stench, Rain Dish, you have a Teddy Ursa with Rain Dish, who's holding a Chesto Berry, and a Gardevoir with Flame Body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's holding a smoke ball? What are your- Yep, you had teleport. You had teleport. Oh my gosh! Okay, we are so lucky. Oh, jeez. It was like, hey, you lost your previous super psychic type. Here's another one. Okay, so item... What? Oh, I pushed B. I said that- Okay, so I mapped my controller. I don't exactly just always remember what things are. It's fine. I think a spike ball is like a poke doll. Nope. Stop, 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 stop. Item. Take. Smoke ball. I don't know if I said spike ball. I'm thinking of Togepi, but... Ah. Uh... Yeah, it sure is fleeing from wild Pokemon. It's a whole item. Okay, so. Little bit of a new team. It's fine. In between episodes, there might be one more trainer in the gym. If there is, I'm just gonna take that trainer out. And I'm gonna get everyone up to level 19. So I don't lose anyone. Um, I'll go ahead... And see if I can evolve Togepi. Um, I'll see what's best to do with Togepi. And there we go, because at least like a Togetic, the defense and the the defenses will be higher, and it'll the attack will be higher. At least because you, you you do have cut now, you do have cut. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not- I'm just, like, if I need to teach a Pokemon, I'm not just gonna teach all my Pokemon a bunch of HMs, but Togepi is gonna be learning some HMs, and I'm gonna be using them on Togepi. But, like, look at that. Does that really- does it really matter? <laughs> okay, so, thank you all for watching this, um, episode. Uh, I wish I was able to take the gym out, but I also wish that some things didn't happen this episode. It's fine. Um, I thank thank you all for coming to watch this episode. It was really fun to record and very interesting to record. Um, if you like my content and like my videos, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to answer the question of the day in the comment section because I do really like hearing the answers that you guys have. And so far I've done pretty well at responding to all the comments that have been put. If you put your comment, I will do my best to respond to it. Especially at this point in my recording, I should be able to get back to any comments that are placed. Um, and please also don't forget to answer the question of the day in the comment section, which today will be... Oh, what is your favorite kind of, like, weather and, like, you know, like, atmosphere 
outside. I will be putting my answer in the comments section as well, and I look forward to seeing your guys' responses to that too. So, thank you all very much. I hope you have a good day. Um, uh, the team will be caught up next episode. I'll do a team recap at the beginning of next episode, and thank you. Goodbye.